In this question, we have an anionic compound, gold 1 selenide. And our goal is to figure out the formula for this ionic compound. So this is going to work very similarly to how we have done it for other ionic compounds that don't include transition metals. But now we have the extra step of using the Roman numeral from the name to figure out the charge on our ion. Okay, so first let's go to the periodic table and find our elements gold and selenium. So gold is here. It has the symbol AU. We can see it's in that transition metal block. So we can't necessarily assume the charge that that ion is going to have. We also have selenium, SE. Now we do know the group for selenium is 16. And therefore we know that the charge on the selenium ion is going to be two minus. So heading back to our question, selenium, we know the charge is going to be negative two. For gold, there are multiple possible options that it could be, but in the question we're told it's gold one. That tells us it has a charge of plus one. And remember, we don't need to type in the positive sign when we're typing in our positive numbers. Okay, wonderful. So let's do a little drawing to help us visualize this. So we have one plus on our gold ion, and then we have selenium two minus. And remember our goal with the ionic compounds is to have the net charge equal to zero. So right now we have one positive and two negative. So overall we have too much negative. So let's add another gold atom or gold ion. Okay, so now we've got two positive from our golds and two negative from our selenium. So this adds up two plus two minus, when we add those together, two minus two gets us zero. So we can fill those in for the number of ions in the compound. So for gold, we had two gold ions and we had one selenium ion. And to just check, let's find the total charge of those ions. So we had one plus one for our charge on the gold and we had two of those. So that's gonna be positive two for the total charge of the gold ions in the compound. For selenium, we have negative two charge and we only have one of those. So negative two times one gets negative two for the total charge of the selenium ions. So let's just check two minus two, that is zero. So the net charge is gonna be zero. We can tell we've done it correctly. Our final step is writing out our formula. So we have two gold ions, so Au2, and one selenium, so just Se on its own. So this works exactly the same as with any other ionic compound. We just have to remember to use that number that comes after the metal to tell us what the charge on our metal ion is going to be.